The Three Wise Men. So, all ready to start your new year at school. <laughs> and as you promised, you're getting me a whole new everything. A new bag, new set of pencils and erasers. Nothing will be old this year. Hey Mark, guess what father and mother are getting me? He is so excited. Why did you promise him everything new this year? Well, he topped the grade again. And he helps me in the fields too. And you at home. He's a good kid. But if you get him all of that, you won't have any money left for your new spade. This old one has been hurting your back now, Edward. Let's talk to Ander. I am sure he will understand. No, darling. Even you have been wanting to build a new hearth, haven't you? I can manage for a few more months. And so can I. There you are. Come on. Let's get you your stuff. First, the new school bag. Um, this one's hard. This one's too rough, and here the buckle is so heavy. Come on, son. You gotta like something. You know what, Father? I think I still like my old bag. And Mark was telling me that my old one is lucky for me. It made me top. Now come on. You topped because you study hard. No, I can't take that risk. No new school bag. What's with you? Mother, Father, can I go to Mark's house to play? I don't want to shop anymore. Okay. But be back in time for lunch, all right? Yes, I will. Father, get your spade. Your back is more important and your new hearth too, Mother. Come on, Mark. So he hurt us. What did we do to deserve a kid like that? Well, kind of expected, isn't it? Considering the woman he has for a mother. And the best father in the world. He sees you work so hard, so cheerfully, and that is what he picks up. I love you, Edward Humphrey. I love you, Ramola Humphrey. Let's get your hearth and my axe and something really special for our boy. <sighs> I so wish we had more money. The soup smells delicious. That is your father's hard work. The corn he grows with so much love. But I still couldn't get the price I should have. The Harrisons did it again. But father, our corn is so much better than theirs. But they have much bigger fields. Hence, they control the price in the market. You deserve more success, Edward, and it will come. You'll see. Anybody home? Mr. Harrison, come on in. We were just about to start dinner. Join us. Huh, thank you. Oh, your home is so peaceful. The boys at it again. Can't you hear them? I am the one who toils hard all day. How dare you talk to me like that? And I am the one who sells the crop in the market. I bring the money home, so you better, better start giving me some respect. Get out! You get out! I can't take it anymore. I just can't. It's all right, Mr. Harrison. They're just young. 
It will be okay. Have some soup. Mmm. It is delicious. What do you do with your corn? Father grows it with lots and lots of love. And that love shows. In the following season, there was a terrible storm one night. Most of everyone's crops were destroyed. This year, we're going to have even less money than before. But everybody's crops are destroyed, so won't the prices in the market increase? <sighs> Nobody will have the money to pay high prices, and son, the Harrisons still have a lot of their corn left, as they had already got servants to start harvesting three days ago. We're in for a tough year. I'm so, so sorry. Is anybody home? Who's that? Let me go and check. Yes? We were wondering if you could spare us some food. Uh... Certainly. We don't have much, but whatever we have will do. Do come in. We cannot all come in together. You will have to choose. Choose? You see, I am money. He is success. And he is love. Only one of us can enter at any house at a time. So please, choose which of us you would have. Why don't you discuss this with your family? We shall wait here till you return. Well, okay. Why don't you all wait there by the shade of that tree? I shall be back soon. Meanwhile, do you need some water? Something else? Very kind of you, but we'll wait here. Romola went in and discussed the matter of the three strange men with Edward and Ander. Who should we invite into our home? What we need more than anything else right now is money. Else we shall have a terrible year ahead. Let's invite in money. What say? Money is only temporary. We get some now, we spend it, and then it's over. I think we should get success. Success itself will result us earning money repeatedly. Don't you think so? You're right, darling. I think we must invite success then. Poor Uncle Harrison. He's sitting in the street below that tree, holding his head. I feel so bad for him. He's miserable because of his bickering sons. Ander, so do you agree? Shall we invite in success? I hate you! I hate you more! Father, who will make us happy? All three of them can make us happy. Money, success, and love. Even the Harrisons have money and success. But why are they so miserable then? Because they have no love. Money can come and go. Success can come and go. But once you have love, love will remain forever. Let us all go and invite love in. Welcome to our humble home. We would love to invite all three of you. But if we must choose, we request love to please come in and dine with us. Wherever love goes, success and money must follow. Very wise decision. Edward? Romola? Are you home? Of course. Walk right in. Come. 
Dine with us, Mr. Harrison. No, I am here for a special reason. I had bought new fields after our profits last year. I thought I would gift them to my sons, but... <sighs> Their constant fighting and bickering will destroy whatever we have even now. Hence, I want to give this to you, Edward. No, Mr. Harrison, I couldn't. You have treated me better than my own family. An old man is allowed to give a gift to his friends, isn't he? I'm just giving you land. The hard work will still be yours. Edward, you deserve it. Thank you. But I will pay you for the land out of the money I make from it. Deal? Deal. Needless to say, Edward, Romola, and Ander were blessed with success and money because they chose love. When we choose love, in essence, being loving to the people around us. Doing whatever we must with love and sincerity, success and money have to follow.